for bronzer, I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. Baked Bronzer, and this is the shade Los Cabos. The bronzer that I'm going to be comparing it to is the Mineralize Skin Finish Natural, and this is in the color So Ceylon. I don't find that these two colors are exact due for each other. As you can see, this one is a lot more, I feel like, golden pink, whereas this one is straight up like a bronzy color. But I wanted to compare these two together because obviously they're both a baked kind of bronzer and I just wanted to show you guys um, as far as the longevity as well as the pigmentation and just overall if it just is comparable. <laughs> so the e.l.f. products are going to be on the right side of my face whereas the MAC products are going to be on the left side of my face. Tapping off the excess. I'm just going to use it to contour. So this bronzer has some really great pigmentation as you can see. It really defined the hollows of my cheeks. I'm just going to apply a little bit more so you guys can see it. Okay, so that's that. Really dark. I'm going to apply this some on my jawline. Apply some to my forehead. Okay, I'm just going to blend this out just a little bit because... I'm going to use a different brush to apply the MAC So Ceylon Bronzer. Okay, I'm just going to apply it a little bit more just so you guys can see it a lot better. To my jawline. And my little bit on my forehead. The MAC Manali Skin Finish Natural, their baked bronzers, uh, call, retail for about $27. Where is the e.l.f. baked bronzer? This one retails for $3. So it's such a huge price difference. As for blush, I found that these were the most similar. I don't think they're exactly the same, but they're very similar as far as color. I'm going to take Passion Pink, and this is the e.l.f. baked blush. And for the MAC one, I'm going to take Dainty, which is a mineralized blush. So they're both a baked type of blush. Dab it in there. Off the excess. Oh yeah, it's showing up now. <laughs> this is the color Dainty by MAC. I'm just going to take a different blush brush. Just dab it in there. Okay, so I actually find that these two colors are very similar. But the only difference is this one which is Passion Peak by e.l.f. has a little bit of a sheen to it, whereas the Dainty has no sheen to it. It's completely matte. But the colors are very similar. The MAC Mineralize Blushes retail for, I think, about $16 or $19. I could be wrong, but I should have checked beforehand. But the e.l.f. Big Blush does retail for about $3, so there's a huge price difference. I'm going to check back with you guys in a couple hours. It is 3.21 p.m. So it is now 7.17. It's been about three and a half hours since I applied both blush. Again, I have the e.l.f. blush and bronzer on the right side of my face. And I have the MAC bronzer. Oh, I have the MAC bronzer and blush on the left side of my face. Um, they don't exactly match at all, actually. But it's funny because when I first applied it, it felt like... The MAC was a little bit more vibrant um, as far as pigmentation, but over time, I feel like the e.l.f. bronzer and blush kind of oxidized, so it didn't go on so heavily pigmented when I first applied it, but if you were to compare these two together, um, it definitely did last. I mean, it's been about three and a half hours since I applied it, and I've ran a bunch of errands. I went shopping and stuff, so... Thumbs up so far to the e.l.f. bronzer and blush for, for the amount of color that still remains on my cheeks. So that's what it looks like. It looks pretty good. It feels and looks high-end so far. So I'm going to check back with you guys at the end of the night and we'll see how it lasts. So it is really, really late. It is 
in the morning I know so it's actually been about 10 hours since I applied both blushes as you can see it's actually still very vibrant I mean I've had this on for 10 hours and this blush and bronzer really stayed up and it didn't like smear or anything like it still looks exactly like how it did um, when I first applied it or not when I first applied it maybe a little bit after I applied it because it did oxidize but Overall, it's a really great bronzer and blush if you guys are looking for inexpensive products or if you're looking for inexpensive bronzer and blush that are very comparable to MAC. I think these are amazing. They're very inexpensive. Again, I got these on the e.l.f. website, eyeslipsface.com, for about $3. And I got these for 50% off because they were having a sale, so it was only $1.50. Um, I really, really like them. The packaging is okay. Um, it's just really cheap plastic, but, you know, with a lot of e.l.f. products, they don't have the best packaging. Um, it's just the color payoff is, is pretty amazing, and it worked uh, well with my skin tone, and I really, really like it. So, yes, I definitely do recommend this. Well, let me know if you guys like these, like, kind of comparison videos of, like, cheaper to high-end, because I know I definitely do. There are products out there that cost way less, and it, you know, does similar things to things that are a lot more expensive that I am so for it. So that is pretty much it. This concludes the Versus video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.